Hello, my name is Sergeant Tomic and I'm head of hardware and procurement department in Microelectronica. Microelectronica is a company based in uh, Serbia, Belgrade, and we produce uh, development tools for both hardware and software uh, in, for, development, for embedded world actually. So our primary goal is to provide our fellow engineers with the tools to do their job more efficiently and with less efforts actually. Um, our tools are, are built to be like Legolite system where you can do a very quick proof of concept and rapid prototyping solutions. This actually produce, in, uh, increases productivity by reducing time to market. We, have, uh, we, we produce a complete tool chains for various uh, microcontroller architectures. Uh, we have uh, uh, development boards, like big development boards, like PC motherboard, and these boards are actually flagships of, of, of our company, where you actually, uh, where, where you can uh, develop your application, where you have a lot of resources, so you can use them, and uh, you do not need any kind of cabling, additionally wiring, and so on. So this is one type of the board. There is a different type of the board with the MCU card socket, this is specifically uh, STM32 uh, uh, board and of course other than that we have uh, our own programmer solutions the programmer solutions we have is called cold grip this board has it embedded here and uh, the, the key feature of this actually programmer and debugger unit is actually its Wi-Fi connectivity which means that you can debug your code over the Wi-Fi network you don't need to be uh, you not need to be on the field so you can actually uh, do a debugging of your applications this is very suitable for the some harsh environments uh, dangerous environments and so on and so on this looks really awesome what are yeah. all these things that uh, can be used here yeah here you have let's say the heart of the system is actually the MCU card uh, this is the standard new standard that we invented for the MCU card uh, the main goal here uh, uh, while while designing this was to actually make any um, microcontroller available on the market to have its pin routed out so that users can can actually access to them here you have uh, uh, ports exported pins uh, with leds so you can you can use them to make your application uh, on the left side you have push buttons and also and also the leds for, for some indications other than that in, in the center area there are display ports this is the uh, display standard that we also introduced here uh, these are our TFT uh, capacitive TFT boards. There are also uh, uh, you can also place here resistive TFT boards, uh, TFT boards with resistive TFT modules with resistive touch, as well as, uh, as ink modules and OLED modules and so on. Uh, of course, uh, there is an, uh, a USB host and, and USB host and USB device interface, Ethernet interface and USB UART interface. Uh, here in this section, this is a power section uh, where you have a USB-C connector for powering the, the board, you have a battery connector and you also have, uh, let's say, uh, capacitive touch push buttons where, where you can also do, uh, you can power the board or turn on the board and, and reset the, the MCU itself. The power, the power module itself, it's, it's quite a unique solution as well while it provides um, 24 watts of power, which actually means that you can have 3 amps at 3.3 3, uh, 3 volts and 5 volts rails, which is quite enough for even, even a, a, a big power-hungry applications. Over here, this is an expansion area where you have a microbus slot, microbus socket. This is our own uh, standardized socket. It's something that we, we actually standardize and trademark. Um, this is how to say, we like to say that this is a, a smallest number of pins for the widest number of peripherals. This add on board standard is quite unique. Uh, it, host, uh, it is a host socket for, for add on boards, which we call click boards. Currently, we have more than 750 different clickboards on the market. Uh, you can see here, uh, this is only a part of the display that, that we are showing here at Embedded World. Um, because, you know, 750 board is it's quite hard to even... There's some here. Even, yeah, they're, they're here at, at the bottom, yeah, inside the, the shelf, and you can see them over there. And this is only the part of our portfolio because there is a large number of them. So this is your... Click standard? Yeah, this is our standard. This, this is our product line, actually, where you have a lot of different uh, sensors, actuators, communication modules, and so on. Uh, ST Microelectronics, ha, ha, we, we have a lot of clickboard supporting ST Microelectronics part numbers. They also have cool designs, also. Yeah, we try to keep things like 
not just functional but also a cool and, 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 and uh, pretty looking you know we, we believe that we have engineering is not just in functionality but also in, in look and feel what does this one do uh, that, that's a spectral analyzer uh, it's actually uh, an optical sensor which you can get uh, uh, you know readings for the color and so on so uh, there is a lot of different uh, types of clickboards. As I said, we, we actually produce one, one click per day. Every, every day at 10 o'clock on our website, you can find a news about a new, a new product that we are releasing. And, and in general, the, most pro the, the biggest probability is that it's going to be a clickboard. But we also have uh, uh, release, we are also releasing uh, our development board, smart solutions, smart display solutions and so on. One uh, per day? Yeah, one per day, actually. You're a very busy company. Uh, we're quite busy, to, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, to have so many uh, clickboards means you have, must have a lot of customers. Yeah, 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 we do have. And uh, we have a lot of different, uh, let's say, uh, now, now the, uh, the partners, our, our uh, semiconductor partners have uh, recognized this this uh, ecosystem as uh, 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 added uh, value adder to their own ecosystem. So uh, most of the partners are actually already putting microbus socket on their own development boards and thus getting the access to the whole variety of our, our, our clipboard ecosystem. Uh, we see more and more demands from the customers and users. For, uh, they have requests for building some specific type of clipboards that they actually need for their work. So we, we, do, uh, we do help them there. We actually produce this clickboards we make them and we put them on, on the market so other than than these uh, these product lines you can see that um, uh, here we have a smart display solutions which are which are actually here these are the smart display solutions which we call micromedia boards we have them in different sizes like three four five and seven inches and but also in different shapes you see this one here it has has uh, mounting holes aside and this is totally a development board having a lot of features there as well uh, while this solution here is uh, it has a bezel around and it's quite quite nice to be integrated in, into the end product like j by just putting it uh, by just gluing it by you see there is a thin tape and you can just glue it in in your in your casing what as you can board? see here yeah this is this is a fully featured development board this is a seven inch micromedia board as you can see it hosts also a uh, MCU card socket the same one as uh, you had in, in our bigger uh, big, uh, uh, board so practically uh, you can just pull in this board and put it in into this system here and the same application is going to run on this big board and on this smart display board as well so Why do you, you put the clickboards in there uh, uh, the clickboards interface here is done uh, through this uh, microbus shuttle connectors so, for instance, if you should need, uh, let's say, to add a clipboard here, you would need just an extension thing like, like this one here, as you can see. There you can see the micro my shuttle connector and, and, a micro, and, and actually a microbus shuttle board, which is actually which is used uh, to extend the range of the clipboard. So you can place the clipboard anywhere you like and you can introduce it. To your, what to your chip board. is there? Running? This is an STM32 chip, running yeah, running the chess game as you can see. So, I guess I mean this looks so cool. I guess the developers might be really uh, excited to work on this kind of platform. Yeah. Or how much is the price for let's say this one? Yeah, you talk about price. Yeah, this this board is like uh, three hundred dollars. And uh, this, this comes with, with uh, an MCU card, you know, users can select the MCU card that they want. The add-on boards are also available on our website. We do have, uh, we do have, we list more, uh, we have our own website where you can actually do the online purchases, but we also list uh, like 50 or more distributors all over the world, so we sell worldwide. And about like these, for example? There's a price. Depends. Or it can be uh, the the, uh, the range of the clickboards it varies because it's it we have a from a simple temperature sensor up to a complex communication modules or barcode scanners and so on. So it's like from uh, let's say a couple uh, tens uh, uh, let's say ten or uh, ten dollars to uh, let's say a few hundred dollars depends. And this is how it can uh, look at night. One of the boards there uh, with all yeah. the LED lights going on. And yeah, everything. yeah, yeah. So this is this is the board also with with the STM32 microcontroller which has a seven inch display there and and a demo 
uh, there is actually a weather station. You see with the five uh, clipboards, we have a weather station and a cloud connection. So this, this, um, uh, this demo here displays the weather conditions on the, on the seven inch display, but also sends them to the cloud. We have a, we have a free cloud free cloud solution for our users it's a we call it a click cloud and the users can uh, our, our users can use use them to actually uh, try out their applications without tools you know you, with the clipboards you can we have a library for this cloud and you can just you know in, integrate it into your code and go and, and send the data to the cloud you can see here this is this is a cloud solution for this uh, for this applications demo that you see yeah it's it's a click cloud Click okay, cloud yeah, 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 yeah. So it's uh, it's something that's let's say we we incorporate the whole tool chain and, and the whole solution actually for for our product. So you have you have uh, our own compilers that we do. You have our own uh, pro products, hardware products that we do, programmers, and and of course the libraries, so that it all works together. We are now working on on uh, on making the SDK for these clipboards and in general our hardware solutions. This SDK is going to be integrating all the libraries at one place, and it's going to be integrating into our IDE as well so whenever you need let's say a clipboard you just go into our IDE which is connected to our uh, library website we call it Clipstock and you just download the code for the clipboard that you need you download the library you include it into your project and uh, within a few steps you are practically working on your on your example we have some plans other than, than this to go let's say to, to make this SDK available in, in communities like uh, uh, in Linux community and, and, and other as well. So this is something that's coming uh, in future of our, our ID. I see that uh, you have a bunch of stuff connected here like this yeah. one. Yeah, this, this is actually a demo with, uh, with the STM uh, MCU, uh, motor control MCU and the two clickboards we did it with uh, STM part numbers. Which, which clipboard? Yeah, it's the uh, STS pin uh, 250 and the STS uh, STA pin 820. So something so to do with spinning. So these are motor controllers, yes. So when we, when we power up the demo, uh, it is going to be, uh, you know, th there are two motors here. The, one of them is turning around the micro E sign and the other one is, is rotating the, this uh, like a vent, like a fan. And uh, there's a way to control them and stuff like that, maybe in the system here. Yeah, how, do, uh, yeah. how do a developer take this cool looking system and uh, turn it into like a mass production embedded system out there? Yeah, well, What's the step? We, uh, as I said, our, our tools are, are very optimized uh, for uh, rapid prototyping and proof of concept solutions. But other than that, if, if there, there is a no uh, high volume requirements and so on, you could, pro you could use this, uh, this actually uh, prototype that you make with our tools to practically uh, make an end product. Other than that, uh, we offer to our customers uh, solutions to, uh, to customize the solution they have. They can come to us with a request, okay, I need this to be exchanged, done, uh, different way to recall uh, different kind of applications and so on so we can offer our solutions there but also they can come with us uh, with, with a request about totally new project you know they have an idea they want to make some product they can come to us with an idea we can sit down and define everything to make the specification of the product and actually do the product because uh, we have our own design service department where we can actually help them uh, this department is actually uh, founded to, to uh, address this request so when you come to us we will listen to you make a specification for everything and practically do a custom design for you if necessary also uh, during this course we can offer uh, volume manufacturing because we have our, our own contract manufacturing department we have we have uh, fully automated SMD lines within the facility of, of our building so we can also offer once the project is done we can offer to produce this thing for you in any kind of volume is it possible for developers to use your platform and then uh, produce in some uh, different way like uh, make it uh, outside yeah in general yes in general yes they can use the tool they can use the tools to develop uh, if there is a need for any additional work we are there of course to offer but you know in in any way they can they can do them on their own if, if they can manage uh, can you uh, give some background on the company. How old is the company? How long have you been doing this kind of things? Uh, yeah, the company is uh, uh, founded in uh, 2001, so it's like 20, 20 years old. Uh, we have the, the uh, development tools are actually core business of the company. So the company originated uh, the, on this, on this, uh, on the uh, development boards like this, like uh, having the 
big uh, motherboard like development board with a programmer on board. So this is something which made a unique solution on the market and that's how the, how the company started. And since then we, we did not change our, our core business actually. We are the development tools manufacturer for the embedded world and that's what, what we do. We are experts in that field. And if we can take one of those off, uh, yeah. the system that you have there has all the bandwidth and all the requirements that uh, anybody would want to have on a clickboard. Yeah. Uh, future proof to any kind of uh, future thing, any kind of sensor. Yeah, yeah. So we, we are constantly updating the portfolio. We are we are making the new clicks, as I said, one per day practically. And we are all, always like to be on, on top of the technology. We like to follow new things. So we cooperate with vendors to get the insights of, of what's coming. And we like actually to be the uh, at the time that when vendor launches their their IC, we like to be on on the market with our clickboards actually to follow to follow. So the clickboard portfolio is getting renewed all the time. It's getting bigger and bigger and, and, and it has a, a, a bigger traction as we speak. And uh, you are ST partner? Yeah. So uh, how is it to work with ST in this way? In which way did they help or? Yeah, we, we have a great cooperation with, with S3 Microelectronics. So we, uh, as mentioned, we are a part of the partner program. So we have a good communication with, with your engineers and, and the management. And we have early insight of the technology. And we, we, we try to, act, we are always uh, uh, try to be there for you. When you launch the, the IC, we are there to have the clickboard supporting it. Uh, we have a lot of boards with the ST micro part numbers. We have a lot of host boards, development boards, micro, uh, uh, the big, uh, let's say the fusion boards, that we, how that we, uh, that's the way how we call these big boards. We have the micro media, smart display boards with the ST solution. We have a starter kits with the ST solution and the whole, and of course, uh, a lot of click boards with the ST part numbers.